joined by FS1 NBA analyst Chris Broussard. Mm, here we go. Chris, <laughs> what was your takeaway from last night's mm. game? My first takeaway was, man, man. Paul George would have looked great <laughs> next to right. Ron James. And yeah. He's the perfect number two. And last night, he showed me mental toughness that he hasn't had in the past, That's I don't think. That's a good think. point, and I agree with right? you. A year ago, when Indiana booed him when he went back, he scores 12 points, 3 yeah, from 14 shooting. You're right. Last yeah. night, he ate it up, fuel, got fueled by the booze. Well, he's, he's become the man in Oklahoma City. <sighs> I think he's empowered by that. He's having yeah. his best he season beyond, before the injury. This is his best yes, year yes, he's without question. He may even move himself into the MVP conversation. Maybe. <clears throat> at some point. Um, but I thought overall the Lakers played fairly well. I mean, they're not only without LeBron, hmm. they're without Rondo. And then they were without Kuzma yeah. for the second half. And here's what I saw from that team. For the first three quarters, I thought they played team basketball. They're hmm. moving the ball. The players are moving. It looked like they were relying on each other to get yep. them buckets and shots mm -hmm. versus Somebody go and create it themselves. I'm going to get my own stuff, right? I saw team basketball. In the fourth quarter, I thought there was more isolation, more one-on-one, -on -one, more over-dribbling, and it was looking for one guy to lead us. Now, that's fine when it's LeBron. When LeBron's there, you can make that switch and go that route. Yes. All right, the Bulls used to do it with Jordan. You know, that's how they – but – and even Kuzma would be your second guy. He would be. He's not there. I agree. So Ingram, look, he did it against Sacramento. That was fine. But he can't do it every night. No. He's not the guy to do it every night. And Contavious Caldwell Pope had 21 points in the first three quarters because the ball was just finding that the open true. man, whoever it is. And, and Lonzo had a lot to do with that right. until the fourth quarter. Right. So go ahead. In the fourth quarter, mm -hmm. Caldwell Pope gets four points. Yep. Three shots. Mm -hmm. Ingram is one for seven because they were looking for one guy to close rather than continuing to play as a team. I don't know if they were looking for him to close, but I think they were looking for him he to was looking, the offense, but he was looking to close. He was dry, Yeah, he was trying to be <laughs> LeBron. Yes. Yep. And yes. more pro that's nice. You want to emulate him, but you're not <laughs> him. And How that that's what I saw from this team. But I said yesterday, I didn't expect them to win. Kuzma, obviously, I think LeBron's going to miss several of these games. Oh, LeBron's going to be out yeah. for a minute. Kuzma, Rondo, obviously, is going to miss them all. And Kuzma, that's the key. How that MRI goes, how soon he can get back. Because if if those three are gone, then they'd be lucky to go 500 in this stretch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're in trouble without LeBron. Um, and the three losses since LeBron has been out, they've been outscored by 40 points in the fourth Ooh. quarter. Mm. And it's amazing when you have that calming effect. You know, I call him chamomile tea. Like, mm. Lavender, you know, he's a calming effect. Well, it, but, but, and I love LeBron, but look. They were having trouble closing games with him. Thank you. Right? And, and, and come on. That's a point. They Don't act have, like they were just on. closing all these no, games. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. But they were not getting outscored by an average of 13. Yeah. And that's the problem because they're right there in these games. I mean, you like you said, for thir three quarters. And then they put the ball in B.I. hand and not necessarily so he can go one-on-one -on -one, so he can initiate the offense. But that's not what he's good at. And one for seven. Skip, Lonzo. In the fourth quarter. In the fourth quarter. Yeah. Lonzo became unplayable mm -hmm. because his shot is so inconsistent. He doesn't feel comfortable driving the ball because if you drive the ball, what might happen, Skip? You might get fouled, and then you got to go to this, take this lonely walk to the free throw line. <laughs> hmm. Skip, these Le 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 LeBron knows that walk in the fourth <laughs> Skip. quarter. LeBron ain't yeah. never shot it's, under 50%. It's a team wide. They are terrible mm -hmm. from and, the line. And this is what I told you was going to be the Lakers' problem after watching them for 10 games. They turned the ball over, another 17. P poor free throw shooting. They missed another 13. I don't care if you got LeBron. Mm -hmm. You do that, you're losing. Mm. You're losing. Mm. But again, Lonzo, skip. Those free throws aren't even close to going in. That joke was shooting the ball hoping, man, I, I, I just hope I don't air ball. See, this thing is not even close. Look how he's shooting the ball. Mm. So, it, hold on, but you want me to believe that he's going to be a great shooter from the outside, and I'm watching the way when he's dribbling the ball, taking his time. Can you imagine when somebody's running at you? Mm. They're in trouble, Skip, until LeBron get back. Mm. That's why he's the MVP. Mm. And everybody know it. So, silly me, I envisioned LeBron late last night up on his deck. Brent would have stayed. No, he was on the game. Big cigar. No, this is late. This oh. is like 1 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> puffing his cigar, thinking. No, he don't do that during the I season. I got this. 
because this is his MVP case, right? Being made right before your very <laughs> eyes, right? So he has to enjoy some of these losses. Some, no, we don't enjoy it. if they fall too far, now they've fallen all the way to the eight spot. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, they're going to be tipped on level. They're going to be yep. tipped on level by the time we get back. Okay, so let me get this Where's over with. Left? You are so right about Lonzo Ball. It was going to be my first point. I had to get my little LeBron point out of the way first. But <laughs> Lonzo Ball, I'm, I'm going to go this far. You can't play in this league shooting 45% from the free throw line, it, especially if you're a point guard. Yeah. If you're seven foot two and you can do a bunch of stuff. Or you Ben Wallace. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> if, if you can do that, that's fine. But as a point guard, you cannot shoot 45% from the free throw line. In key moments in the fourth quarter, to your point, because that was still a game when he stepped to the line the first time, and he bricked both of them. Yes! They, they weren't even close. And then he missed another one before he finally swished his fourth one in the fourth quarter, and Luke took him right out of the game. And I had no problem with that because he was becoming hack Alonzo yeah, liability. Yeah. Yes. He was. And, and hey, they're not hack stupid. A, how you hack a point guard? Okay, well, I'm just saying, you can't do that. He is shooting the ball from three much better than he did a year ago. So you got to give him that. Yes. And he's actually, he will step up and make some big threes in the fourth few, quarter. Yeah. He has. He's not afraid to take that shot, but he's afraid to go to that free throw line. You can't exist. I'm telling you, you can't last in this league until you fix that. And I thought maybe he would fix it in the offseason because what did he shoot last year? 49%? Yeah. You know, that's that's pathetic. That's what? Can't play. That that that's do not invite him. Right. You certainly can't play in the fourth quarter. That's no. what I'm saying. Like, come that. on. I mean, on. he he like you said, he shot the ball well from three at times, especially playing off LeBron. Mm -hmm. But he's inconsistent. Yeah. Right. He's just you don't know. You have no idea from day to day, game right. to game, what Lonzo's going to okay. get. Or from shot to shot. Right. Right. <laughs> Do I love his passing gift? Yes, I do. Do I love his rebounding ability at about six feet, seven inches tall? I do. And trust me, he's still their best on-ball defender. When he locks in on somebody, he is so long, he makes it really hard on the opposing team's guard. And he had Russ a lot last night. And I have never seen anything like the shooting slump he is in, given yeah. his stats over oh, his career. My oh, my goodness. He shot three for 20, and they still won the game last night because he's still going to yeah, stuff the stat double. sheet. Yep. That's it. Right? How you, he's how still you, how average. You more cut, do you have he needs to cut down the threes. He's <laughs> taking five threes a game. He's shooting 24% from three. 24? One for seven percent? last night. Wow. Come, I mean, you just – he, look, I get that you have to take a few to keep the defense honest. Okay. But he should be taking maybe two a game at the most. Yeah. So I now because he can do so many other. To games. Brandon Ingram, you brought it up. So this was a big stage for him. This is like a big moment. This is a winnable game without Kuzma, without LeBron, without Rondo. And they said, B.I., you're up. This is your stage. And he plays the whole 12 minutes of the fourth quarter. And he goes, to your point, one for seven and he played completely out of control the whole fourth quarter because it was hero ball times 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He would just get it and turn whirling dervish, just whirling around the lane, dribble, 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 dribble fall away, some uh, you know high degree of difficulty shot, and he just kept bricking him, and he had two turnovers on top of that, and he was a minus 11 in the fourth quarter. Uh, that was not a good audition for you being the second best player on the team, right? Uh, nor a good audition for, for you being the, the, the uh, show, know, yeah, the showpiece yeah. of a trade. He might be better outside of L.A. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe, maybe a staple you, center. Well, you should have oh. been rooting for him last night. I was. Okay. But after I saw what was going on, I had to go to bed, Skip. Yeah. It was already at 9.30. Mm -hmm. I was like, nah, they're not going to win this one. Let nope. me go on and give me a good old night sleep. <laughs> Didn't but these them. next seven will tell the tale. They were supposed to lose last night. Skip, you, I mean, Chris, you keep talking about when you look at who that. Guess what the other teams are saying? Look who on our schedule. I get it. The Lakers. I know. They're looking at the Lakers like, yeah, like the Lakers looking at the Knicks and the other team. I know. That's how they're looking at the Lakers without LeBron. This is one we can get. So, Paul, <laughs> think about this. Paul George shot two for 11 from three last night. He had 37 points. But to your point, uh, Westbrook shoots one for seven from three. As a team, they shoot 31, I'm sorry, 22%, 22.6% from three, and they still won the game? And they didn't shoot well from the line no. either, mm -mm. 64%. No. But okay. they got up 16 more shots. Okay. They're not a good shooting team either. No. Let's see how they do tomorrow night back in action against the Knicks. So maybe they can Ooh. figure it out. They there. better win that one. Uh. I don't care who's it gets out. Ugly they, if they they don't. better beat the Knicks. Moody, watch Moody, cook somebody. Look good. And Kevin Knox. We're gonna.